We are going on a two, almost two week road trip tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We just finished packing and now we're actually gonna unpack <laughs> to show you what we're going to bring on a road trip. Yep, and I also wanted to share with you how to prep for a road trip uh, because I already did this road trip, well not as long. I came from Florida to California uh, solo with my dog and it took a total of five days uh, driving about eight to nine hours each day. This road trip we're taking, it, we're kind of going a little bit longer. We're gonna stop by a couple national parks. So it's gonna be a total of, I believe like 10 days. What I like to do is definitely get my car checked. I wanna do that 21 point inspection, make sure my oil is changed, that all my filters are good. Tires are, you know, have air in it. Also, um, like to download some offline maps. We're gonna stop by Utah, a couple national parks, which will be Capitol Reef National Park and Arches National Park. And I know around that region, it's a mountainous region, it's kind of remote, so I downloaded offline maps around that. So those are just examples of like where you wanna download, download some offline maps. And we do it through Google Maps, and it's super simple. Another thing we like to do is prep some food. So before our road trip, we do like to cook um, some foods. Obviously, it's only gonna be for one day because we don't have a refrigerator. What we always cook is Japanese rice balls or onigiri. These are great because you don't have to refrigerate them. They stay fresh all day. Another thing we make before our road trip is karage, which is like these deep fried chicken nuggets. And that has just got so much flavor. It's, you know, the chicken gives you protein. So we just, and that really fills you up. So we just pack those two items for the first day of trip and it, it's good for lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So it is really filled us up. And then in between, of course, we have like snacks and stuff. Yeah. So now we're gonna go into our car accessories that we like to have on our road trip. Um, I'm gonna start off with this <laughs> roadside rescue emergency kit. Um, driving solo a lot, I wanted to have this ready um, just in case something happened. And yes, it's also good to have AAA too, but if you're in need of something at the moment, this thing is like packed with emergency things. So it has a first aid kit. So, you know, your band-aids, bandages, um, tape, gosh, you know, things like that. So lots of good stuff in there. There's also cables, a poncho. There's a poncho, some gloves, jumper cables. Oh, that's a lot in there. Yeah. Uh, more cables for pulling cars. Um, uh, zip ties. Zip ties, rescue blanket. This should actually be in the front of my car. Uh, <laughs> this is the the window smasher. Like if you get underwater somehow, then you could oh, smash your window with this. Yeah, you can put that So this car. needs to be in the front of my car. What is this? I'm trying to figure out what this is. Oh, this Those is Those are like hazard. Yeah, hazard. Yeah. So yeah, so much good stuff in here. I got this on Amazon and it says there's 110 pieces in here. I don't know about 110. I, mean, I don't Maybe know like what kind of pieces things, they're talking about. But, the first eight kids, yeah. probably. <laughs> uh, but it was under uh, 40 bucks. So I think it's well worth it to have something like this in your car. Another car accessory that will probably come in handy if there's more than one driver is a magnetic um, mount for your phone. If you're renting a car, which I'm sure a lot of people will probably rent cars when they go on road trips, um, this is a universal um, phone, uh, magnetic phone holder. So how it works is you just put this in one of the air vents um, and it, it doesn't look like it'll work, but trust me, we used it in like several different rental cars and um, that's it. And then it, your phone will stick to it. The next thing I put in my car is a portable power station. And I actually got this for hurricane season. You know, when the electricity would run out, I needed some outlets. So this is why I initially got it. But then it's also good to have in your car too. Again, if you're in an emergency situation and you need some power, then there's two outlets here. And then there's also two USB plugs in the back. And there's also some uh, other outputs here and inputs that you can use and it's uh, 150 watts. On a lot of our international trips, we like to take our portable Wi-Fi. And most of the time we don't use this in the States because, you know, we have our phones and we could tether off of it. But some phones, you know, you can't tether off of or you will run out of data so you can't use it anymore for, you know, uh, Wi-Fi. 
So if you needed Wi-Fi for bigger projects or needed fast Wi-Fi, then these uh, hotspots come in really handy. So we've used the Skyroam, which works really good. And we've also used Tap Wireless. Uh, which I like, we like this design better because it's flat um, and it kind of fits in your pocket, mm -hmm. uh, very slim, but both pretty much work the same way. Uh, so yeah, we just take this just in case um, if you need Wi-Fi. And it's always good to have a USB car charger in your car. This one I got on Amazon as well. This was a little bit more expensive than usual USB chargers because the top one is a quick charge. I wanted to get one that was solid and that one of them charges faster uh, because I have things like not only my phone, but my GoPro or something that I want to charge. So this quick charge port um, comes in real handy for those. And the bottom one is like a more regular, uh, but yeah. This is, I've used this on the road trip, um, you know, for like the past few months and it's worked out great. So another thing we keep in the car are things to keep us clean and sanitized and fresh. So I actually have three different things here. I always have these flushable wipes mm -hmm. in the car. This is some hand sanitizer spray. I actually got this from Trader Joe's. I thought it was pretty nice because it's grapefruit and lemon. I love those citrusy scents. So this is what I also keep in the car. And this is something Chris and I just recently purchased because we ran into this issue quite often on our most uh, on our recent road trips. They're just kind of like weekend road trips, but 50% of the time, I would say like the rest stops or not really the rest stops, usually like the gas stations we stop at to go use the restroom. A lot of times there's no soap. So how this works is because it's nice and small, you can just stick it in your pocket or in your purse. It's a sheet of soap, like it looks like a thin piece of paper. And basically it dissolves in water and then that's how it turns into um, soap. So this is really, really handy. Um, I think it's a great alternative to like liquid soap because that usually takes up more room and I feel like you end up using a lot of it when it's like a travel size. This comes like a ton of sheets and you can get many, many, many hand washes out of this. So definitely something good to have on a road trip. And on that subject of uh, cleanliness, I do. <laughs> have these wet ones so it's, they're wet wipes too but they're individual packs i often get individual packs because a lot of times when i get these big packs they dry up so fast yeah. and i always waste them so uh, yeah these are a little bit more expensive to get individual packs but i don't waste them anymore well these ones are better too because they actually kill germs i don't think this one does yeah this kills 99.99 yeah. percent <laughs> of germs this is more like i just want to clean things a little bit you know yeah. i don't really need to disinfect but that stuff disinfect so mm -hmm. so this isn't really a necessary car accessory but i found this very useful if you have a gopro you know how GoPros run out of battery super fast, so you have to like keep on changing them? This is a portable charging USB um, case, and you can put three batteries in here and charge them all at once. And uh, you can stick, it's a USB port, so one of those USB, you know, quick charge that I had on the USB charger works out great for things like this. And yeah, I was just popping them in and out every time a battery ran out. I just grab one from here and then put the other one back in. So this came in really handy. I really like this thing. Yeah, especially for people, because I notice a lot of people like to take their GoPros on car rides and just mount it and record their trips. Mm -hmm. so I can see how that eats up a lot of battery and how this will come in really handy. One last thing is the cooler. So this is super handy because you want to keep your things cool. Well, if you like to keep your drinks and beverages cold, this is a really, really good bag. And the one thing I really like about this bag is that there's a um, tab up here we can like easily grab a drink. <laughs> Another thing we also keep in here are these ice packets. So the night before our trip, we will usually stick this in the freezer and then, yeah, and in the morning when we're ready to pack our drinks, we stick them in here and it keeps them cool pretty much all day. Yeah, and these ice sheets in particular, cause you can, we have uh, ice gel packs as well, but I got these on Amazon and they're ice sheets that come in like three huge sheets and you can cut them to how big you want it. And that's why I like these. Yeah. Uh, because you can maneuver it how you want to. It's flat, so you can maybe wrap things around it, um, you know, like a can or something like that. So that's why I really like these ones. All right, so now we're gonna get into the stuff that we packed for our road trip. Mm -hmm. And 
This is something new that I recently got. I have been wanting a hat box for ages. So when I found an actual hat box that's actually a luggage, like an actual bag, I fell in love. And so this is where I'm gonna keep all my hats so they don't get all bent up and messed up. And that's the thing is like, I, I've had that happen to a couple of my hats and it made me so sad. But now I will be able to carry my hats and they will be all stored in here beautifully and they won't get dented and ruined. And there's actually some room in here too if I wanted to put, I don't know, shoes or whatever, some accessories there. And it comes with straps too, so not just a handle, you can also, you know, carry it on your shoulder. We always talk about our pack safe bags and this is no different. We're taking our pack safe bags with us. Especially our favorite City Safe CX uh, backpack. We like to keep this up front with us and, or maybe just, you know, behind us. Uh, so that we can reach and get something really easily. For example, you know, if we wanted to get our our face mask, then it'll be in here, or wet wipes, or chargers, or cables. I also keep my camera in here as well, but I'm actually using it right now. And, you know, just little accessories as well. Maybe I wanna watch a movie on my iPad while Candy's driving, mm -hmm. things like that. We also like this bag because it has, um, a pouch for water, mm -hmm. bottles, or a little umbrella if you want to put a full of umbrella in there. Or a selfie stick. Or a selfie stick. <laughs> or a GoPro stick. Yeah, so I really like this just for miscellaneous things to have by my side in the car. And I also have another pack safe bag that I take with me. This is the tote, and it's so large. And this also can fit on the back of your suitcase. Uh, there's a luggage slip. And here I take all my camera gear, <laughs> all my lenses. I just stuff everything in here and it fits all of it. And I, I love this so much. It's very durable and um, yeah, it's just, it's easy to carry if you wanted to. Or like I said, put it on the back of your suitcase. So another thing that I have recently been bringing on the road trips is this handy bag right here because I can put it over um, as like a crossbody. It holds my phone. And when we're at a gas station stop, you know, I don't have to <laughs> run back in because I forgot my mask. So I always will have my mask right in here. And then what I showed you earlier, I have the hand soap in here. So when I go to the bathroom, there's no soap, it's already there. I am taking the medium away suitcase. You know, I was thinking about bringing the bigger carry-on, but this trip is gonna be almost two weeks. And then when I get to Florida, I'll still be there a little bit longer. So it'll be a total of almost three weeks for me on the road. And I couldn't quite fit everything I wanted. Um, in the other bag, so the medium one ended up being perfect. On this side, I, I put all of my like little accessories and stuff. I'm taking my cable organizer. This is an awesome bag to have to organize all your cables, you know, for my hard drives and phone and all that good stuff. So I love keeping all my cables organized because I don't like just cables all in my suitcase. Got shoes in here. Also got my toiletry bag. It's mostly my makeup bag though. So this is, um, all my makeup is in here. And then this is my toiletry bag where I keep, you know, my contacts, my face cream, face wash, my stream. And oh, some hotels are so dark. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers that that won't be the case in any of our hotels. But if it is, I always bring this mirror just in case because then I can do my makeup with um, a light fixture that's already on this uh, mirror here. I'm also bringing a jewelry um, bag. It's a very small one, but it helps keep my necklaces and earrings and rings organized. My camera bag, but I'm using the camera right now, so it's not in there. And then an extra bag for on the way home, just in case I end up with more stuff that then it won't fit in here. Cause this is already jam packed, so I can't fit anything else. Before I get to the other side, there is like a mesh pocket right here. And in the mesh pocket is where I put all my little kind of like accessories, like eye extra face masks and also handkerchiefs or bandanas. I have this handy bag right here. This is actually made by Away. It doesn't come with the case, it's a separate accessory. I recently purchased this and what I put in here is stuff that I don't really want wrinkled that I just wanna be able to, when I get to the hotel, just take it out and hang it up in the uh, closet. So what I have in here this time on the trip, I'm taking 
um, a long skirt, a dress, and also back here is a silk tank top. So I have three hangers in here. And then, so yeah, when I get to the hotel, I just kind of hang this up like that. I love how like it keeps everything so nice and neat. And then when I get there, you know, I, I don't have to use their hangers or anything. I can just hang this up and it'll be nice. Then on the other side is all my clothes. And I have three lightweight jackets here. These are all by Anatomy. I love their clothing because it's breathable, lightweight, great fabric. Most of my trip, I will be wearing Anatomy just because her clothes are so comfortable. They're easy to mix and match, huge fan. And then all my other clothes are in these three bags. And these bags are actually from PackSafe. And I love that they have handles here. I love the mesh here so you can kind of see what's in there. But one bag is just all my tops. One bag is my, my underwear and bras and socks. And then the other bag is all of my pants. And that's it. That is how I packed for my road trip. So now Chris is gonna show you how she packed for hers. So I'm taking the Low and Sons canvas toe and also the Away expandable suitcase. Um, I've packed everything pretty much into travel cubes. And like candy, I have the pack safe um, travel cubes, but I also have another travel cube that I use too. I actually mix a lot of travel cubes because I have some from PackSafe. I also have one from Anatomy and I also have another one that I got on Amazon, which I'll show you in a second. I packed a little bit differently than candy. In my canvas tote, I packed clothes, my athleisure wear first and all in one because I know I'm gonna go to national parks first. So I know that's all I'm gonna be wearing. So in this uh, travel cube, I put all my fitness bras in here. In this one, I put my shorts. <laughs> and in this one is all my leggings and uh, tank tops and sweaters that I will be wearing to the national park. So there's about, I don't know, like three or four leggings and three or four shirts. And it's all in one, just so I know that this is the bag that I'm gonna use just for the parks. I also like to have a clear bag, like a Ziploc bag of things of, you know, like my meds, my contact lens, uh, more face masks, uh, shaver. I also have my straightener because I need to straighten my hair. I cannot live without a straightener, so I need to have my straightener with me at all times. And this bag, it's a, a bagalini but it's made for straighteners and curling irons so that after you use it, you can just put it in this bag and it prevents the heat from, you know, t uh, touching your suitcase so it won't burn anything. This is actually heat protected. I also like to carry a um, three outlet charger with me because sometimes the hotels don't have enough outlets for me. I have a lot of camera gear, I have my laptop, uh, my phone, I have all these things that I wanna charge so this comes in handy with three additional outlets and two USB uh, chargers at the top. And what's great about this bag too is that I can put my shoes on the bottom so it separates it out. So I have my sandals, I have my sneakers, and I have another pair of like fancier sandals. So I put three pairs of shoes under here. Okay, so then my expandable suitcase. What I have in here is more travel packing cubes. So these are different. These are called Trip Doc. I got these on Amazon. And the reason why I got these was because they have narrow sizes like this. So you could play Tetris a little bit better because a lot of times when you have uh, travel packing cubes, they're all like this kind of rectangle shape, either like this or like a little bit bigger. So I wanted something that had different shapes. You know, so I like these narrow ones. Um, and here I have my jeans, basically my extra clothes after I get out of the National Parks visit. So, you know, I put in, in this bag, I, these are all my shirts that I'm going to be wearing. Then in this bag, it's like I have to open it. Oh, pajamas, make sure to bring your pajamas. My pajamas are basically uh, sweatpants and a t-shirt. This is all my undergarments and this is all my bralettes. So on the other side, this is where I have a lot of my toiletries. So I'm gonna start with like my basic toiletry bag. So this is all my basics that I need, um, like my deodorant, my toothpaste, my uh, facial cream, um, lotion, 
shampoo, conditioner, and nasal spray. And then these are all my extra toiletries that I need that I couldn't fit into this bag. So it'll just be extra things like, you know, a hair clip, more deodorant, allergy medicine, um, shaver, eyelashes, and some makeup removers. These are my, my socks. This is my jewelry case. And finally, I've got my makeup bag. So this I've had for years and I take all kinds of different makeup. All right, so that is everything we're taking with us. Hopefully, we, you know, some of our suggestions will help you on your road trip. Yep, I think uh, we did a pretty good job. And um, if you want to learn more about the travel luggage that we're taking in depth, we did a separate video on that. So make sure to check that out. And also we go more in depth on various pack safe bags. So make sure you check that out too. We'll link that below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.